Welcome to chapter one. Fucking we've been teaching you Visual Basic Dog Day. 2005. Now you're getting started with Visual Basic 2005. Now I'm assuming that you uh, installed some kind of a version of uh, Visual Studio 2005 close enough. Well for this book I'm using Professional Edition. <laughs> <laughs> to paint on the touche. <laughs> but just about everything discussed in this book applies to the standard edition if you can afford it. The standard edition probably costs you about uh, probably $99 or you can probably get it free off the internet. The one of the internet. <laughs> Some of the features of professional edition that are not supported by the standard edition mainly the uh database tools which are discussed in part five of the book probably around there we'll we'll, we'll adjust with it we'll deal with that later so let's get started let's get it started you're done very good bookie hang in there hang in there my friend you are one tough customer Oh, thank you, Rudy. But you know what? There's a lot more to understand in .NET. It's the object. It's the object that you gotta understand. The one thing you gotta understand is the basic programming. It started with a, with a task-oriented, task-oriented programming. COBOL! Basic. GW Basic. You write one line to do one thing, then you write the next line to do another thing. Then you write another line to do another thing. Put the lines together, and you got a program. So, you see, you can write a program. If you wrote a program to, let's say, brush your teeth, make a robot brush his teeth if he has them. You say, robot, what do you got to do to brush your teeth? Well, let's say, to where is the robot? before he starts brushing his teeth. We lie in bed. We sit up there lying up in bed. So we gotta get out of bed first. So we gotta get a get out of bed routine written in task or in like COBOL or GW Basic to get the robot out of bed. So uh, lift your head up from the pillow. Lift your back up from the back of the bed. Sit up right in the bed. Turn legs to whatever the left <laughs> if you're getting out the left side of the bed and you put your feet on the floor and you go from there see how the, the different steps different tasks you gotta do and as you uh, do that you start getting understanding the difficulty in doing task programming but object oriented programming dot net will open your eyes to something very special the IDE Cobol, GW Basic, don't have no I-D-E. Now let the boys explain what I-D is. I-D-E, I-D-E, Hey, wait a minute, I got it. Integrated Development Environment. Very good, dude. Explain. Well, what it is is, uh, you see, you, you, you have an environment where it tells you a lot of things and it gives you a lot of help. Unlike COBOL or Task or GW Basic. The ID gives you a lot of information, a lot of tools, a lot of GUI. We talked about GUI. And it's a wonderful environment that gives you all these tools, like you're in Microsoft Word. But it helps you write a program and tells you what's wrong before you compile it. You're done. Sounds about like a bunch of hooey gooey to me, Bucky. <laughs> well, uh, you know, Rudy, we'll get there. We'll get there. Remember, I have the tag. I 
Uh, but Tiger is the approach you need to take. You best remember that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hang in there.